Welcome to CMA USA Exam Coach, your study companion for mastering the CMA exam. In today's episode, we are diving into an important foundational topic under Section D, Risk and Uncertainty. Before we go deeper into managing risk, it's very important to first understand what exactly we mean by risk, how it differs from uncertainty, and what are the key factors that affect risk in a business environment. Getting this clarity will help us understand the logic behind various risk management tools and strategies that we'll study in the upcoming episodes. So let's begin. Before we start, we highly recommend that you watch Episode 9, Risk and Return under Section B, Corporate Finance, where we have already explained many of these concepts in detail with simple examples. The link is available in the description box below. That episode will help you understand the relationship between risk and expected return, and how these ideas connect to what we are about to learn here in risk management. So with that background in mind, let's begin today's session. Let's start by understanding what risk really means, especially from a business and finance point of view. Risk is basically the possibility of something going wrong. More technically, we can say, Risk is the level of exposure to a chance of loss. That means when a company makes a decision, like launching a new product, investing in a new machine, or entering a new market, there's always a chance that things may not go as planned. And that chance, that possibility of a negative outcome, is what we call risk. Now here's another way to think about it. A risk is any event or action that can stop an organization from reaching its goals, for example, if your company's goal is to make a profit of $1 million this year and a new competitor enters the market and takes away half your customers, that event becomes a risk because it affects your ability to reach your goal. In corporate finance, risk is seen a bit more mathematically. Here, we look at the variability of returns. In simple words, how much your actual profit or return moves up or down compared to what you expected. So if you expect a return of 10% and you actually get 10% every year, that's low risk. But if one year you get 25% and the next year you lose 15%, that's high risk because the return is unpredictable. So here's the key point. The greater the variability in returns, the riskier the investment or decision. Let's take a quick example. Imagine you are deciding between two investment options. Option A gives you a steady return of 8% every year. Option B sometimes gives you 20%, sometimes 5%, and sometimes even a loss. Which one is riskier? Yes, option B. Because the returns are more variable, you don't know what to expect, so the uncertainty is higher. So always remember, risk is not just about loss, it's about how uncertain the outcome is. In finance, we measure risk by how much the return can vary. Now that we understand what risk means, Let's talk about something closely related, but not exactly the same, called uncertainty. Many students think risk and uncertainty are the same, but they're not. Let's break it down in a simple way. Risk is when we know that there is a chance of loss or a negative outcome, and we can even estimate the chance of that happening. Uncertainty, on the other hand, is when we simply don't know what will happen. We cannot predict the outcome at all. Let's define it properly. Uncertainty means something is not known or not definite. It's the situation where we don't know whether an event will happen or not. And here's an important point. While risk usually refers to a chance of loss, uncertainty can be either positive or negative. It has a neutral meaning. That means, under uncertainty, the outcome could be something good or something bad. But the point is, we just don't know. Let's look at a small example to make it clearer. Example, imagine you're planning a business trip next month to attend a trade fair. You know there's a 30% chance of flight cancellation due to weather. That's risk, because the probability is known. But now imagine there's news of a possible government policy change that could either help or hurt your business. But nobody knows if or when that law will be passed. That is uncertainty, because you can't measure or predict it at all. So here's how you can remember the difference. Risk equals we know the possible outcomes and can estimate their likelihood. 
Uncertainty equals we don't know what might happen, and we can't even estimate the chances. In business, both risk and uncertainty are important concepts. Managers and decision makers must know how to handle both, sometimes with data and sometimes just with good judgment and experience. So far, we've understood what risk is and how it differs from uncertainty. Now let's look at what factors can increase or affect risk in a business situation. There are two very important features we need to talk about. One, volatility. Second time, let's understand both one by one. One, volatility. Volatility simply means inconsistency or frequent changes in results. If something is stable and predictable, it has low volatility. If something keeps changing unpredictably, it has high volatility. Let's take a simple example. Imagine a company that makes daily sales. If the sales are 500 units on Monday, then 1,200 units on Tuesday, then drop to 300 on Wednesday. That means the sales numbers are going up and down wildly. This is called high volatility. And why does this matter? Because high volatility increases risk. When outcomes are unstable, it becomes difficult for management to plan and make decisions. Volatility adds uncertainty about the future and increases the chances of bad results happening. So, in simple words, the more volatile the situation, the higher the risk. Second time. Now let's talk about time, a very important factor in risk. Here's the idea. The longer the time period, the greater the chance that something will go wrong. For example, imagine you lend some cash to a friend. If they promise to return it next week, the risk is relatively low. But if they say they'll return it after six months, the risk is much higher. Because in six months, many things could happen that might affect their ability to repay you. Therefore, a project or decision that spans a longer period of time is usually riskier than one that's completed in a shorter period of time. So we say, time increases risk. Because with more time, there are more opportunities for uncertainty to affect the outcome. Final takeaway. Both volatility and time are critical factors in determining how risky a situation is. When things are highly volatile, risk goes up. When the time period is long, risk goes up too. As managers and financial professionals, we must always keep an eye on these two factors when making decisions. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you now have a clear understanding of what risk is, how it differs from uncertainty, and the key factors that influence risk, like volatility and time. In the next episode, we'll go one step further and discuss the types of risk that businesses face, so make sure you don't miss it. See you in the next episode.